Good morning, Chansey Cardinals, teachers and staff. It's time for the Cardinal Weekly News, September 16th. Welcome back. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. Um, here's our weekly weather predictions. So Monday, we've got 85 degrees, nice and sunny. Uh, Tuesday, again, 85 and sun. Uh, Wednesday, warming up just a, a little bit, 86. Thursday, 87, so the hottest day of the week, 87 degrees. And then Friday, 85. So again, pretty mild temperature, but remember it's cold in the morning and then it's going to warm up by the end of the afternoon. So you, you just have to dress appropriately and in layers. Bring those jackets. Yeah. Oh, no, you, what were you going to say? Bring those jackets and what else? Just remember to bring the jackets because then in the building, it's random. It's hot in some rooms. It's cold mm -hmm. in the gym. You know, you guys, mm -hmm. it's up to you to be prepared for uh, what you need. Yes. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Burton here, and I am reminding you um, of our three behavior expectations. Remember, you are always supposed to be respectful, responsible, and safe. That's how we do things the Chansey Cardinal way. But this week, we're going to focus on your attitude, having a positive attitude when you come into school every single day. And boys and girls, a positive attitude is a mindset. It's um, how we see and recognize opportunities, but more importantly, or the, the easiest way to remember is that a positive attitude means positive thinking, good thinking going on in the brain. And sometimes that's not easy for us to do, especially if, you know, the night before we had a hard time or maybe we just woke up and weren't really in the best mood. Sometimes it's hard to have a positive attitude, but I'm going to challenge you this week to show up each day. With a positive, with positive thinking, try to find some joy in your heart, put a smile on your face, and that will help you have that positive attitude throughout the day. These are some things you can do, boys and girls, to make sure that you have a positive attitude. You can practice mindfulness, which means you are practicing um, or uh, like almost like meditation. I know they do that in Miss Latham's office sometimes where they just sit still and they try to think positive thoughts. Um, you can help others. That's one of the things that always brings me joy when I'm able to do something for someone else and show kindness to them. You can set and achieve goals. You can write in a journal or draw. You can just try something new, a new activity or a new hobby. Um, you can talk to yourself. And I know it sounds weird. You're thinking, what? Talk to myself. But no, stand in front of a mirror and look inside that mirror or look at that mirror and think of some positive affirmations about yourself. Like, I'm smart. I can do it. I'm beautiful. I have a good heart. I can be great today. Think of different things that you can say and say it out loud to yourself. And I promise you, if you do that, over and over again, it will help with your um, positive attitude. And then just going outside. When it's a beautiful day outside, for me, a lot of times that sunlight, it just turns my mood around. It helps me to have a, a better outlook on things. So I'm sending all the positive vibes to everybody this week, including our teachers and staff. And this week, we are going to focus on having a positive attitude throughout the day. Do you all have anything else to add to that? Yeah, I would just add, I love the talking to yourself and, and not just like looking in the mirror and telling you the, yourself those things. It's the little things we say to ourselves all the time in our own heads. Mm -hmm. Be mindful of what you're saying. Just be aware. Like, are you having negative self-talk, which will lead to negative thoughts? And when something is a challenge, you know, instead of saying that it, this is impossible, it's going to be difficult or this will pass. You know, it's what you tell yourself that matters. Mm -hmm. um, I love the picture of the girl. She's pouring the water mm -hmm. on her head. So she's in charge of what she's thinking about. She's going to ensure that her thoughts are positive and you can do that too. Yeah. So we'll be looking for that this week. Positive attitudes. We can do it. All right. Um, High attendance day. So last week was high attendance day. Um, I believe it was on Thursday. And so you all got to wear your jerseys, sports jerseys or sports T-shirts to represent your favorite team. Mr. Cahill, did you wear yours? I sure did. I had my baseball jersey, the Cincinnati Reds. I saw nice. lots of jerseys, lots of different sports teams represented throughout the school. Um, nice. I thought that was a fun activity. Awesome. Well, we had 12 classes, 12 boys and girls. That's that's just about half. We had 12 classes with 100% attendance. That means everybody was in class, ready to learn. So shout out to you all. Um, good job getting to school and um, showing up for our high attendance day. We will try to do that every single month. All right. So Ms. Burton, the 12 classes that actually 
where the high attendance classes is okay if I hop on here yes, and tell you that? So all right, Miss Reynolds, Miss Clemens, nice job, you all, boys and girls. Second grade, Miss Clark, Miss James, Miss Malone, and Miss Marles, all Woo. of our second graders. Wow, shout out, second grade. Wow, shout out. Can you believe that? And then in third grade, Miss Arnold and Miss Brown, they were all here in fourth grade. Three out of four of the fourth grade classes, Miss Beams, Miss Marsh, and Miss Singleton. And then, unfortunately, the fifth graders must have been sick. But Miss Miles's class, all of them were here on the night. Twelve classes. Congratulations. Nice job, boys and girls. They all got popsicles last week, and they the second grade is sharing the high attendance stick. Yes, that makes me so excited. Good job, guys. Yeah. Great from the school. That's awesome. All right, uh, Chansey family, we are still supporting our PTA. Uh, lots of teachers have paid their dues, and now they are counted as a member of the Parent Teacher Association. Um, the top three classes who have their parents uh, belong to the PTA are Miss Evans, Miss Morrow, um, and then Miss Ballard, Miss Kleizek, and Miss Wiljan, and I'm assuming are tied for third. Um, so continue to um, pay to belong to the PTA. I myself still need to pay. I'm going to get my money to them. So I also want to support our school through the parent teacher um, association. And those classes are going to get a popcorn party on September 27th. Is that right? The Miss Evans, Miss Morrow, and then those three uh, classes that I listed for tied for third place. I think it's just the first place class. Is that yeah. right? Oh, so just Miss Evans class so. who is the top presenter um, representative. They have the most parents who have belonged to the PTA. Good job, Miss Evans class and families. I think it's still going on though. I, I, so yeah, it's, it's not very, over yet. Yeah, so it could change. So another class could take the lead. So keep keep getting your parents to do that membership or fill out that membership. It's not over. All right. This month is, well, it's the middle of September into the middle of October. It is Hispanic Heritage Month. And so you're going to start to see some um, things around our building to celebrate this exciting month. Um, Hispanic Heritage Month is where we celebrate the cultures and histories of people with heritage from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. Um, and so several of our boys and girls, our students, uh, people in your classroom even are from a lot of those countries. And so we will be celebrating um, until October 15th. Um, we're going to celebrate the Latinx and Hispanic culture and the many contributions that individuals from this culture have made. The 2024 theme for Hispanic Heritage Month this year is Pioneers of Change, Shaping the Future Together. And so this month, nationally, we're going to be recognizing and honoring the legacy of and I may say this wrong, but I'm going to try. Ildara Murella Road. Um, she has a PhD, which is like a doctorate's degree. And then she's also a registered nurse. And um, she's being recognized for her contributions to nursing and her advocacy for Latinos in healthcare. So she's really been fighting for healthcare rights for um, um, Latinx people. And so she um, is being recognized and that is a picture of her there. And we'll just try to do that throughout the month, highlight some different um, people who celebrate or who have contributed to the Hispanic culture and um, maybe even highlight some of the students and families we have in our own building that um, are part of the Hispanic heritage and celebrate some of their culture and traditions as well. So I'm looking forward to learning more about um, this particular culture this month. Anything else about that? No, thank you. It's really exciting though, and it's, it's exciting and it's nice to celebrate any heritage. And so I appreciate, or I, mean, I just, I think it's a good thing. Boys and girls of Hispanic heritage, at here at Chansey, I, I I think you all should celebrate utmost, and so yay, it's something, it's an honor. Yes. Oh, and I didn't even say anything about this one, you all. I'm so sorry. Um, I can jump in real quick. This is just a reminder that we will be um, having our leader loot prize cart. I don't know if we did it this Friday. We, we didn't do it this Friday. Friday yeah. That's uh, okay. We have to do maybe double next week or something. Yes, yes, that'll be on Friday. So keep earning those tickets for demonstrating the seven seven habits. All right. 
All right, we have open house, boys and girls. So this is a chance to come back to the school, bring your families. It's going to be from 6 to 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday. That's September the 18th. So this Wednesday, come back to school, say hello to your teachers, bring your parents. Um, it's a great chance to have people come back to the school who haven't seen us yet. Mm -hmm. It'll be a fun time. Long day. All right, Chancey Connell, so never forget that you are super bright. Always remember to shine that. You shine brightness, shine bright. You are a leader and you will change the world. Each of you has a genius, and so make that genius show through. Have a great week, you all. Let's have a great week, everybody. Bye. Bye.